In the previous part of this lecture, we have studied that an equation of the form one can be reduced to the homogeneous form. We studied two cases. Now let us solve a, this example. Here, the first thing which we need is the value of A1 over A2. Now, A1 is 1, A2 is also 1. So, A1 over A2 is 1. And now we need the value of B1 over B2. So, B1 over B2 is 1 over minus 1, which is equal to minus 1. So, we can see that A1 over A2 is not equal to B1 over B2. So we shall use case number two here. According to case number two, we need to substitute small x equal to capital X plus H and small y is equal to capital Y plus K. Here, H and K, they are constants. From here, we get dx is equal to d of capital X. And from this one, we get d small y is equal to d of capital Y. Now, by division, from here, we get the value of dy over dx which is equal to D of capital Y or D of capital X. Plugging these values in two, we obtain D capital Y or D capital X is equal to, let us use the value of small x, which is capital X plus H plus the value of small y, which is y plus k minus one, whole divided by x plus h minus y plus k plus one. If we simplify, we get x plus y plus h plus k minus one divided by x plus sorry this one is minus this is minus y plus h minus k plus one let us say this is equation number three now we need to put h plus k minus one equal to zero. And let us say this is equation number A. And H minus k plus one equal to zero. Let us say this is equation number B. Now we need to solve A and B to obtain the value of H and k. So let us add these two equations. K will cancel with K minus one will plus one and we get 2h is equal to 0, and from he here we get h is equal to 0. The next thing, let us put h is equal to 0 in A. So from A we can get the value of k. So k is equal to 1. Now if we use h is equal to 0, and k is equal to 1 in equation number 3, we get dy or dx is equal to x plus y divided by x minus y. And we can see that it is a homogeneous ODE. So let us solve this homogeneous ODE. We put y is equal to vx, and from here we get the value of dy over dx, which is equal to v plus x dv divided by dx. So 
let us say this is equation number four. Four becomes v plus x dv by dx is equal to x plus vx divided by x minus vx. If we further simplify this, we get v plus x dv by dx is equal to taking x as common, we have 1 plus v and taking x common from this one, we get 1 minus v. Now x will cancel with x and let us take v to right hand side. So we have dx over dv divided by dx is equal to 1 plus v divided by 1 minus v minus v. Now we take the LCM. So if we take the LCM, the LCM is 1 minus v. We have 1 plus v minus v plus v square. Minus v and plus v, they will cancel. So we get x dv over dx. This is equal to 1 plus v square. So let us write it as v square plus 1 divided by 1 minus v. And now we can see that this is a variable separable equation. So let us separate the variable. We have 1 minus v divided by v square plus 1 dv, which is equal to 1 over x dx. And now let us integrate both sides, but from the left hand side, we can get 1 over v square plus 1 minus v over v square plus 1. And now we write dv is equal to 1 over x dx. Let us integrate both sides. So we get 1 over v square plus 1 dv minus v over v square plus 1 dv is equal to 1 over x dx. Now, from the first term, we can see this is integration of tangent inverse v. And from the second term, we divide and multiply it with 2. So we have minus log of v square plus 1, but here we have 1 over 2, is equal to log x plus c. And that is the solution, but we need to report the value of v now. So report v is equal to y by x. We obtain tangent inverse of y by x minus 1 over 2 natural log of y square divided by x square plus 1 is equal to natural log of x plus c. Now the given question was in small x and y, but here we have capital X and capital Y. So let us uh, report the value of capital X. The value of capital X is small x minus h, but h is 0. So we can write x minus 0. So capital X is equal to x. And capital Y is equal to small y minus k. Now let us put the value of k, which is 1. Using these values, we obtain tangent inverse of y minus 1 divided by x minus 1 over 2 
natural log of the value of y is y minus 1 whole square divided by the value of x which is small x so x square plus 1 this is equal to natural log of the value of capital x is again small x plus c and that is the required solution that's all 